Okay, so Joe, tell me about, um, you guys have been busy. First of all, regular school year is over, you've been busy, and now you're into uh, providing lunch for children for the summertime. Tell us about all of the work that you do there at CCSD and the nutrition department. Yeah, it's a complete team effort from the folks that are actually in the kitchens to our support office. It takes everybody to be able to pull together to pull this off. Uh, we're currently serving 6,000 lunches and about 4,000 breakfast every single day to Charleston County uh, students. And so it's an amazing feat to be able to meet the need because we know even when school is out, we still have hunger that happens. And uh, we're just so happy to be able to do that. And um, you know, we're doing it through a variety of ways. So, uh, and people can visit, you know, for more information at ccsdschoolmeals.com. And uh, we're offering daily meals. And then you can also pick up weekly bundle meals as well for those families that are interested. And in the bundle meals, you're able to receive seven days worth of breakfast and lunch. So it is busy and we're just happy to be able to have this opportunity to meet the need of our county. That is awesome work that your team is doing there, Joe. So where um, where all can people pick up the meals for their children and how often? So that's a great question. So we have really two different programs running at once. If you're looking to do the bundle meals, uh, we have it at seven schools uh, across Charleston County, kind of distributed evenly throughout the county. Um, and again, probably the best thing to do is just reference people to our website to see the full listing. And depending on what site they choose to register to pick up the weekly meal, meaning they'll come on one day and pick up a week's worth of meals. That would either be Monday through Thursday from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. And again, the day is really determined by the site they register for. And then in addition to that, we have a full list of, I mean, lots, lots of open sites that they could pick up the daily prepared hot meals um, in addition to the uh, the frozen meal bundle option, if they chose to have that. Oh, I, I was going to say, um, Joe, with those um, meals that they can pick up for seven days worth at a time, how does that work? What is that? What do those meals consist of? Yes, so it consists of basically a lot of different frozen lunch options so that families can take it. And uh, we serve it frozen to them, put it into their freezer. Um, I've had feedback from families said, hey, can I do this like every week? And we're like, yes, every single week. You can come in and pick up these different items and it's a great not only money saver, but also it meets a need and so that we are able to make sure that students and really it's anyone 18 or younger. So even if you have family that's staying with you in Charleston County and they're from Columbia, maybe that's the case or they're visiting it for the week, as long as they're 18 or younger, the USDA is approved that we can serve them the meals and then the breakfasts are going to be what we call shelf stable items. So cereals, maybe Nutri-Grain bars and different things like that. Oh, that's awesome. What a wonderful service um, for Charleston County School District to offer to their students and their families throughout the summer months. Um, Joe, let's talk some numbers. How many students are you feeding, you think, through this summer program? So at last tally, we are reaching about 6,000 lunches and about 4,000 breakfasts every single day, which is just an amazing feat. But we also know that there are 50,000 students in our school district, give or take a thousand or two. That's just a number that comes to my mind, easy to round up, that's normally enrolled in our district. So we know that there are more out there that maybe we just need to get the message to. And that's why we're grateful for this opportunity as well. Joe, thank you so much for your time. Um, congratulations and kudos to you and your team for all of the good work that you do to help the children of Charleston County School District. Thank you so much for this opportunity to be on.